Police are engaged in some sort of vehicle pursuit. Let's take it live to Captain Roy Taylor and Sky Team 11 for the latest. Roy, what's going on? Actually, Howard County started this. This vehicle was wanted for, from what we understand, there's a warrant for the individual that's operating this vehicle. They tried to make a stop in Howard County around Route 100. The uh, suspect took off. Right now, this vehicle is traveling at a high rate of speed on the outer loop, uh, correction, the inner loop of the beltway, coming up on I-95 right now with police cars following along with a helicopter. Howard County, Howard 1 is keeping the vehicle in sight. He's actually calling out where the vehicle's going. Now this uh, pursuit has gone across Route 100 all the way over to 97, up 97 to the Beltway, and now he's on the inner lip of the Beltway, just coming up onto I-95. He's getting ready to run into some heavy traffic right now, but there's about three or four police cars behind the vehicle. Like I said, all we know right now is that the suspect there is a warrant for the suspect, but uh, police are trying to make a safe apprehension of him. But it looks like this individual is trying to work his way southbound I-95 now from the Baltimore Beltway. As we get more information on this, we'll update you reporting live in Sky Team 11. Okay, okay we understand you guys want us to stay with us. All right, yes. the vehicle is in the process of getting ready to go southbound I-95. Uh, I got to do a little radio talking here with the uh, tower. So hold on a second. Roy, I got a quick Howard question. One, uh, I, I, I've got down. a quick question right. for you, Roy. As we see this car looping around on major interstates, how do the vehicles in front of this car know that uh, the police are? Have they got sirens and lights on? I see all the cars sort of getting out of the way so they don't get involved in some kind of an accident. I I, I know the one marked unit does have his lights and siren on. Uh, I know they've been attempting close. to stop him, but you can see he's driving up the shoulder of the road. There you go. There you go. Uh, so right now, this vehicle is southbound on 95 back towards uh, Howard County. Uh, he's in Baltimore County right now. But as you can see, uh, this individual does not want to be apprehended. So, uh, Stan, can you hold for one second? I'm going to have to. Yeah, we will just hang on right here. Certainly can. We'll watch. Yeah, well, it looks okay, like they're going to get the guy stopped. Looks like it. It looks like they've got the suspect stopped. Well, that's a good thing. This potentially yep, they are taking really... it down right now. We are just southbound I-95. Howard, one, I got you coming underneath of me. We're still staying up here at 1,000 okay, feet. Okay, obviously the police uh, have their... The, uh, the... They're doing a felony stop. That's what's happening right now. The police department is in the process of doing a felony stop. Evidently, the individual realizes between the helicopter above him and the police cars down there with him, he's not going to be able to get away. There's nowhere to go. He's got pretty much nowhere to go, although I have seen before... When they try to take a guy down like this, all of a sudden, they'll try and uh, take off just as the officers approach him. And the officers now, have their guns drawn.